Hi everyone, I, I've i just finished work, um, it's been a really long day, <clears throat> I thought I'd film a video, because Halloween's coming up, I'm going to do some Halloween, yes, like some Halloween makeup, I don't actually know what I'm going to do yet, I'm going to look on my phone and just pick some things from there, I know everyone's doing like the clown um, skull. I think those two were the most popular things at the moment, the clown and the skull. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do the same. I might end up doing the same. I might not. But I'm actually going to be doing um, a number of Halloween videos as much as I can get in. So I'm just going to have a look on Google and see what I come up with. What I really like is, you know, that scary nun woman that I don't know what film it was, but she was so scary. Let's have a look if it comes up. <clears throat> so as I've finished work, you know, I always have a little drink, not every day, but um, sometimes when I'm making tutorials, I have one. It just sort of gets me more of a flowy video, I feel, and I'm not stuttering and umming so much. I just feel like my conversation is flowing a lot more fluidly. So anyway, this is um, one of the drinks that I like. My boyfriend actually introduced me to this drink. It's Dragon Stout. It is um, a Jamaican drink. And it's just really nice. Um, it's really fattening though, because I think it's like obviously got loads of yeast in it or whatever. But it's really nice if you um, just want to have it like in the evening and you're not looking to get drunk. It's just a nice drink to have to relax to. I, I really like it. I think I'm going to go with the nun one to begin with, just because you know what? Like that is originally what I wanted to do. And I'll show you what she looks like. She is one scary woman. She is so freaky. Oh my god, she's so evil looking. So this is what she looks like. I'm going to try my best to get it, like, you know, as close to her as possible. I'm going to take my phone off lock and just copy it. And just show you how I sort of come up with ideas as well. Because when I was, I feel like I'm a little bit older now and my it's not like I don't think of things. I feel like when I was younger, my imagination was more um, wider. Whereas now I feel like I am very, like my, my focuses are really just on business and, you know, business. So I think like my creative side has sort of taken a little back seat. So I do need some inspiration. So sometimes I'll just go on Google and things. I think this is quite an easy one to begin with. And then I'll like, I'll tell you guys what um, I do step to step. I'm pra I am basically doing this as you go. Like I haven't practiced this or anything like that. So I'm just going to go for it. So I think it's also a little bit harder to do your makeup when you're doing a tutorial. Because I have a big mirror behind me here. But there's like lights and stuff in the way of my mirror. So I'm just going to use a little hand mirror just like this. The, the most I've ever done for Halloween was like a little red riding hood and um, like a doll with like cracks in it. I just don't like scary things. So if you guys are going to be doing um, a makeup look or anything like that, I would suggest you find, if you don't have any inspiration and you feel like you need some, go onto Google and just search for something that you've got in your mind if you don't have anything in your mind then I guess just search for like scary characters or something like that and then I would take my phone off the lock so I don't have to keep coming in and out of it and then all I do is just put my phone on the side and just keep going back and forth and conferring with the picture every time I um, do something new so I think to begin with, this woman has got like a really big nose. I'm not even trained in like, you know, the whole building things up, but I have bought some glue and I'm just going to give it a go. So I'm going to try and achieve this. Look, so I've got this stuff. It's a special fix spirit gum. And I have had a look on um, online. So I think the first thing that I should be doing is um, building up my nose so it's a lot longer. Um, 
So uh, let me just give you a little breakdown of what I've bought as well. I haven't actually bought many um, items. I've got a lot of matte eyeshadows that I'm going to be using. And if you are just going to be doing a look for Halloween and you don't want to spend too much money, then these are the items that I've got here. I've bought some black contact lenses. I'll actually write a link uh, um, at, on the um, on the video, and I've got some like really white contact lenses. I don't know which ones I'll wear for this video because I don't have green because she's got green luminous eyes. I've got some fake blood, and this is um, all from Amazon. Snazaroo. I think all of the things that I got is Snazaroo. Everything I searched for, the Snazaroo um, mark just kept coming up. So the glue is also snazzaroo. And and you know what? Um, all of these are snazzaroo as well. So I think I've got my white one inside. I'm going to have to go and get it, guys. When I first um, did my Dole effects at college, all I used was um, the whitest foundation that I could find. And then I packed it on with this... Um, it was like this old school finishing powder, but it was really thick and white. And that's only because I had it in my um <laughs> I had it in my college makeup kit. Like you would never ever use that on anyone's skin. It's just awful. Anyway, I got this. Snazaroo white paint. Snazaroo again. It's obviously plain white. So let's get started. I think the way that people have been building up their noses and stuff is with like tissue. So I'll try it. This is actually really fun. I'm gonna get into it soon when I when I liven up a little bit. So um maybe I'll build it up with a bit of cotton, I think. She's got like two really long bits down there and then her nostrils are really thin, so let's see if this is gonna work or not. Oh it's not that bad. Oh, it's quite strong. It smells like. Do you know what? I probably don't. I'm not even probably supposed to put this on my skin. <coughs> it's really alcohol. It smells of alcohol real bad. So let's just see if I can build this up a little bit. To begin with. Oh, right. It's actually really working. Oh, God knows how I'm actually going to get this off. That just forms so nicely, I didn't even mean for that to happen. Well, it dries really quick, this glue. It dries really quick. You can sort of mould it with this, whatever this is. When I was younger, I was really creative, as I said before, but I was actually really artistic as well. So what I would do is I'd look at a painting and be able to just sort of just keep looking back at it and, and copying it. And it always used to come out like, oh, I don't want to blow my own horn, but it would come out quite good. Um, I got like an A, like out of all of my courses, out of all my subjects in school, I would say that art was definitely the one that I enjoyed the most, and it was the one that I got most praise for, and it's the one that I sort of understood the most as well, because I was like really creative, I just didn't understand the other ones, I was just like, I don't get it, why do I even give a crap about geography, but obviously now, I don't even know where the hell things are on the map, so probably should have paid attention stuff is really good like to be fair like you know for the price that I paid it is coming out really well I bet you there's a there's probably an easier way to do this but right. I do think it's probably water soluble so you'd be able to take this off just by wetting it all
So I've got this um, wax here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply a little bit more glue to the um, sculpture thing that I've created here. And while that's drying, because it feels like it's going to take a little while to dry. While that's drying, I am going to start building up. Right, so I'm going to start building up with this wax just around the nose just to make it a little bit more sculpted. Um, obviously, I don't know how to use this sort of stuff. I've just seen it on um, Instagram videos and just thought it looked easy. <laughs> Probably, you know, over, over underestimated it really. But I'm just going to melt it on, mold it on with, um, so it's quite a hard wax. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to place it onto my hand, quite a lot of it if I can, and I'm just going to let that warm to the temperature of my hand and just put it on there so it's nice and blendable. So I just want that to warm up and then when it is actually soft and blendable, look, it is actually getting soft quite quickly. Guys, I've never used any of these products. So if I can do it, you can do it. And guys, this is the first time that I've done it, so it's not actually going to be perfect, you know. And I think that's what you guys need to remind yourselves as well, that it's not going to be perfect. And you can only make the best of the situation. So I would suggest that you take a good few hours out of your day to do it. So I'm basically building mine up with wax, glue and... Um, wax, glue and cotton bud pad. It doesn't matter if the cotton's not entirely for, um, smooth because you're going to smooth it down with with um, wax. So I do just have the makeup on that I had on in the day. I don't really think that there's much of an issue with that as long as you don't have like too much on. I don't really have any foundation or anything, so it doesn't like interfere with what I'll be doing with um, the face or anything like that. I think that's as much that I'm going to do with the nose right now. But just trust me on this one. I'm pretty sure that it's going to come out good. So while that's drying, I'm going to flatten down my eyebrows. The only thing that I haven't actually invested in, guys, is costumes just because like i'm not going anywhere i'll probably just use a, a tissue <laughs> she just ate just put a little bit more of this glue on it just seems a little bit too puffy for me well it looks like my snazaroo lid is broken that didn't last long did it snazaroo hey I think I'm obsessing on her nose a bit too much, don't you guys? But I do think it's going to look so sick. So anyway. Go back to my working surface and start blending all of this in. I'm going to let give that a rest for a minute. So what I'm going to do is just take off my pink lipstick.
So I'm just going to paint around the areas just while my nose is drying because I feel like it's really taking ages to dry right now. Okay, so it's obviously not going to cover up my eyebrows that much so I'm just going to layer it on really thick around the eyebrow area and just let that dry and what I'm going to do is do two layers so you can already see if you draw over your eyebrows and make out like you've got none it makes you just look crazy anyway hey guys do you like my nose <laughs> I'm just going to use a um, big domed eyeshadow brush for for the black. Mm, this is waxy. Oh, actually, look, that is really good. Wow, didn't expect that. It's actually really good. Like I just brushed it on here like this, and I thought, oh, that's really waxy. You know, like the other one that's waxy, but nope, that's come off really well. Let's see how it applies. Guys, don't put this inside your eye. What to do? Just put black eyeliner on, isn't it? <laughs> this is so crazy. Like to know that you can just make something from just looking at a picture. I love it. That is what I love about like being creative. You don't have to know it. You know, you don't have to learn it. You can just do it. You can just go with it. It doesn't need to be wrong or right. Just go with it, girl. Now I'll just go back and see if my nose is dry. Still a little bit sort of wet. So I'm going to go back in and start whacking on the white again. And this is probably going to be the best way for you not to mess it up, to keep sort of working on different areas. Because if you keep working on the same area, what I find is that you will mess up. So obviously if I kept working on my nose it probably would have been buggered up by now because it's still wet and I'm obviously going to be panicking thinking oh my god it needs to dry. Now I figured out just by doing this now the best way to apply this is by patting it on and no I'm not going to be messing up any of my beauty blenders by using this product. Sorry I've seen so many people doing it I don't really want to be messing up my beauty blender. I love my beauty blender. I mean I don't have a lot. Of them. Like, can you see the difference in the coverage? So I think you do need to go over it twice. So if you don't have the time and you want to get a better product, then go for it. But, um, I actually wanted to get the um, NYX ones, but I couldn't find them anywhere online. They'd all sold out. Um, so yeah, it's just a bit of a pain in the butt, really. I'm going to go over the nose with some wax to just smooth it out a bit. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to paint over it right now. See what happens. Do you know what, guys? This black stuff is making my eyes itch. And of all the things I thought would make me itch is this fake nose. Guys, I'm just trying my best to not cut you out of the shot, but I'm really trying to concentrate now. I think like I've made her nose a bit too big, so I'm just going to contour it. It's nothing you can't fix without, you know, contour. I'm going to fix it a little bit. I know this is not a perfect nose, but guys, like this is the first time that I've done it. I'm not even going to lie. First time I've done it, I'm not completely satisfied with it because it's a bit wobbly, it's a bit lumpy, but but it's all right. I mean. It's all right, you know. I think I could probably smooth it down with 
something, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to camouflage it, just by putting some black stuff on. These products are not workable. They're oil-based products and I just don't feel like they're workable, if I'm honest. So yeah, I'm not I'm not 100 percent happy with them. They're okay, they're just not workable. And I feel like I need to now go in with some eyeshadow just to define this out a little bit. Which to be honest, I didn't really want to have to do, but I'm going to use some eyeliner instead of what I was using before and see if that, mm, you know, helps a little bit with the lines that I was creating. I really wanted to try and give you guys like a close up, but the camera's just not wanting to focus. Okay, so I'm going to buff this out a little bit. I feel like my eyes are too dark 
just looking back at the picture, my eyes are definitely too dark and it's more like I'm a robber. So I'm gonna, so I'm going to go back in with a bit of white. So I've decided that I'm going to put my white um, lenses in. You know what, I can just tell what my mum's going to be like. She's going to scream. Oh, what is this? I really don't want to go inside because that's what's going to happen. Make sure you wash your hands before you put your lenses in. Side your eye. I'm going to try and keep them in just for this picture. Oh, Yes, I'm going cheapskate style because this is only for the video. So guys, if you want to have um, like a better outfit than me, obviously and not a towel, then you are so welcome to get yourself one. But <laughs> I bet people are gonna laugh because it's so like such a such a sleazy outfit. So guys, that is the end of my tutorial. I hope that you liked it. You know, some of it came off because of the contact lenses, but actually they're getting more comfortable now that I put them on. And I can I just apologize about my cheap outfit, but you can like sort of get the gist of it, right? Just put a little white thing underneath, like you know, like a nun does, put your little thing on and then get a black thing like this and just make it look like a nun guys i hope this video was helpful and it just sort of like goes to show you can make something from anything obviously i wouldn't go out with towels over my head but that's all i've got right now um and obviously i don't have any quilts or anything so basically this is supposed to be a nun a scary nun let me show you what the scary um picture looks like at least then you can get a good view. I think we look the same. We look just as evil as each other, girl. I don't, I, I'm not feeling these contact lenses, so they feel like they're about to fall out. Um, let me just see what face she's making. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. Until next time. Yeah. Oh, and also, if you liked this video, could you subscribe, um, like, and share my video? And also, just write um in the comments, if, like, if there's any other costume that you'd like me to recreate, just let me know. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Hey, guys. I had to take my contact lenses out because they were so uncomfortable, and basically the whole of the makeup just dripped down my face. And do you know what? I'm just gonna do this now because I feel like I can. So I'm gonna take my nose off and stuff and just show you. Ah. Uh, Actually, oh, it's not that bad to take off. It. There you go. See, it's quite easy. There's no. I guess if you had it on for the whole night, it might be a little bit more. 
I don't know, it's more difficult to get off. And then I'll just show you how I take off my makeup. So guys, the best thing to do to remove this makeup is to use an oil-based um, cleanser. So I'm going to use the pre-cleanse from Dermalogica. It's an amazing cleanser. It's an amazing pre-cleanse as well. So I'll probably need to cleanse a couple of times. Maybe actually I'll probably need to cleanse quite a lot. So just make sure you're going all over the areas that you've obviously worked on. And it really is quite gentle to your eyes. There's no stinging or anything like that. It's really gentle. Lovely clean flannel. And because it's an oil base, I think because everything is oil based, like even the the paints were oil based and things like that. It was so easy to remove actually guys. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than that. But yeah, definitely good. I'll show you the um, cleanser that I use. So it's just this cleanser here by Dermalogica. So I'm going to use this twice. I don't normally use this twice. I only normally use it the once, but I'll use it twice just because there was so much product on my face and I had um, a facial earlier on today. So I know that my pores will be quite... Um, and now I would go in with um, my Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel and it just looks like this. I've just got a little... I've just got a little one. And you would need to mix this with water and then foam it up until it's a nice consistency. <laughs> Alright guys, take care and I'll see you in another um, tutorial soon. Bye.